Hi, I'm Crystal McGill reporting for Rich Girl Network TV, and we're here tonight for the recorded in Hollywood event, the award-winning musical play. Keep watching Rich Girl Network TV. Wendy, what are you looking forward to mostly tonight? The performance, the music, the choreography, the energy, and just the excitement of a story that has not been told. I saw it about a year ago, and I'm just excited to see the changes and the evolution of a show. Because so many times, you know, you don't get that opportunity to see a show evolve from a workshop space. And then now it's, wow, here we are. And what have you seen the change in the movement over in music over the years? Wow. Well, the one thing I miss the most is real musicians. You know, the horn section, the flute section, you know, the bass, all of that, you know. And that's what I'm going to miss most about Prince. He was a true musician, and you know, there are some that are out there, but we don't see them few and far. There's so few and far and in between. So I think this and then getting. Paula J. I'm sorry. I did. My little sister. We go back to college. Five years ago. I, I, I could not five miss seeing her. Yes. Okay. Was it five? Was it five? I thought it was six. six. Yeah, just a little bit. I could not miss seeing this woman perform. Like, I don't think you guys, you're not, they said you were doing something special. Okay, I'm going. Okay. No, you know what? You stand right here. I'm standing right here. Okay, we're going to have to get back. You all miss Sula. Okay, stop. We're going to have to get this one back on stage. I'm sorry. You all just don't know. Okay, we digress. We digress. You don't know. No, we don't. And same to her. We go all the way to Bucktart. What is it called? The Great White Way. We got to tell them why it should be called the Robinson Way. Oh. The huh. Paula J. Parker way. Yeah, exactly. Steve. Uh, what is it called? Broadway. Yeah. Broadway. Yeah. That way. I'm sorry. That's all right, darling. So, where can people find you? Social media wise. I am Wendy Raquel. W e n d y r a q u e l. I am because ain't nobody else. <laughs> ain't nobody else. Ain't nobody else. Okay. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you, darling. Thank, Thank you, you, babe. Thank you. So now, Michael, how does it feel to be a part of history? Wow, I, I think we're this just now beginning to sit. Uh, one of the things, realize it's been some time since my dad died. And though we've known this history all our lives, and we grew up with it, and I worked in the music business for many years, we always appreciate it at a family level. I think it was only now that just we're really beginning to understand the appreciation at a much broader level. It, it's taken a little bit of a while, but... Uh, it's, it's been incredible. I never would have dreamed this, and I have to say this, I would not have dreamed where we are now. I get, to, I get to talk to people who are still educating me about what their experience was with my dad. As early as this, this, this morning, I talked to a young lady, 87 years old, who said she used to work in the store when she was a teenager, and she had things to tell me that I didn't know. I didn't know her until this morning. And so we have that happening over and over again. At every show, there's somebody who comes up that has their own personal Dolphins of Hollywood story. I think the biggest change in music, and I want to be kind, uh, you know, music has taken on a little bit of a different perspective. You know, I, I never thought I'd see music that was built around the beat versus music built around the story. What my belief is that songwriters are among the greatest poets we've ever had in our society. And when songwriters have something to say and is profound, they found wonderful ways to do that. Marvin Gaye uh, is one example, and so many other songwriters who had something to contribute to society, not just a good beat or a good tune, but who really had something to say and use their platform to say it. It was less about the entertainment. The entertainment was because it was done well. But it wasn't about creating an entertaining piece of music. It was about telling a story. And we've seen that difference over the last few years. Where people find me, I'm probably one of the easiest people in the world to find Michael Dolphin 911 at gmail.com. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm Googleable everywhere. And, and, uh, but I mean, I. And, and, and I don't mind talking about this. One of, the, one of the things I always say is that Los Angeles is a city with no memory. We throw things away pretty quickly. 
And there is a history here that is worth exploring and worth learning. And for, for new residents or even veteran residents, there's so much about this city we never knew.